that for the past uh, few years, there's always been this question about what's the value of higher education. But let me give you uh, some of the reasons why I would encourage all high school students to consider going to that post-high school education, that second post-secondary education. The first one has to do with the fact that recently there was a Pew study that showed that in terms of how much a person earns over their 40-year career, if you just end at high school, you earn about $1.2 million over the 40-year career. But if you have a college degree, you earn about $2.1 million. So that's almost 80% of you know, your income that if you don't go to college, you leave on the table. That's one. The second reason why everyone should consider going to post-secondary uh, education has to do with the fact that those who have at least an associate's degree or a baccalaureate degree often tend to be employed as unemployment is lower you know, if you go beyond the high school you know, level. So that is also one thing that is very, very helpful for students to consider as they think about what they would do beyond high school. And the last one has to do with that your growth intellectually and you know, emotionally, holistically, as a civically engaged individual. Those who go to college get, get to that's basically expand their horizons beyond just what they get you know, at high school. So there are so many reasons why people should consider going to college, but you know, not for necessarily four years, even if it's two years, that's good enough. As you know, Millersville you know, has a lot of first-generation students. And technically, I consider myself to be a first-generation student because though my dad went to college, it was my mom who raised us. My dad died early, so my mom who raised us. And my mom had the equivalent of a ninth grade education. You know, and she raised myself and three of my siblings. At the moment, I think, you know, as a first-generation student, there are so many opportunities, you know, to go beyond the high school. The first one has to do with when you are a sophomore or a junior, start thinking about visiting as many schools as possible. Do your research very early. Don't wait till you're a senior before thinking about, you know, what am I doing when I graduate? So if you start doing that as a sophomore, as a junior, you'll be able to look at opportunities available for you. So visit as many schools as possible. That's key. Secondly, I also encourage first generation students not to be shy about asking for help. Okay? Help in so many ways. The first one will have to do with, you know, talk to uh, friends who may be coming from homes where they are not necessarily first generation and ask them about their experience. That will help you. But also when you visit these schools and, you know, ask the right questions, you know, how do you support students from first generation backgrounds? As students apply for, you know, these colleges, it can add up because, you know, have to pay $70 here, $40 here, but almost every institution out there is set up like that. If you're a first generation student and you ask for a waiver, you'll be given the waiver. So they shouldn't let costs be an impediment as they prepare to apply to these high schools. And then finally, they should apply as seniors, they should apply early. They shouldn't wait till January to apply. I would encourage all high school seniors to try to put in their application latest by Thanksgiving. Because for example, at Millersville, we have a finite amount of scholarships that we give out, and we normally first come, first serve. So if you know you apply early, you have a greater chance of getting these scholarships. So, but as someone who was raised by a lady with ninth grade education, I would encourage all students, especially first generation students, to consider going to high uh, college. I've really enjoyed my visit to Makaski. I want to thank you know, the students who showed me around. I can see that they are very bright students and you know there's a lot ahead of them in terms of their own accomplishments. And also I'm very impressed with you know, the principal, your superintendent. You know, you can see that they are very dedicated and focused to the success of the students. So thank you for inviting me to your campus. Thank you.